Hi, thanks for joining us. This week, we're going to show you how to mount a rotary engine onto an engine stand. This is the engine stand that we use, we recommend, from Harbor Freight. It's a thousand pound model. It's a $55, 40 on sale. Assemble it to the manufacturer's specs, except we'll leave off these mounting ears that mount to the head here. These are for the piston engines. This is our rotary engine stand adapter. It retails for $65. comes with the heavy mounting plate adapter and all the fasteners that you see here. Easily mounted onto the head of this Harbor Freight engine stand. These are lug nuts supplied with the kit, M12 by 150, standard lug nut for a Mazda that we use for attaching the large studs to the engine stand securely. This is the mounting surface that the engine stand adapter will bolt to. If you don't have two studs in these positions, you can use wheel studs. The easiest way for me to mount the engine stand adapter on is to take the whole head assembly out slip it onto the two studs and using in this case lug nuts which work perfectly go ahead and attach the stand onto the engine and snug up the fasteners Then we'll go ahead and slide the engine stand in. And there we have it. Now that we've got the engine on the stand, let me show you why this is so handy. We can easily get the spark plugs for the clearance. We can easily flip the motor up, get to the front cover. We can flip it over get to the oil pan very easily. We can also very easily take the flywheel off. And in its normal upright position, very easy to do your final assembly before you install it in your car. Notice how the adapter bolts to the front plate, which forms our base for the assembly and disassembly. Thanks for joining us. Remember you can find these weekly videos at rotorengineillustrated.com and then you stand adapter at pineappleracing.com.